Velvet, welcome back behind the velvet rope. I mean, I don't even understand how we book guests this big. We have come so far. We are here with an icon, radio legend, Miss Sarah Frazier. Oh my God. Every time you say that, I go, oh wait, do we have a surprise guest coming on? I'm like, wait, you're not talking about me, right? Could, could we like, ever have gotten coming? a guest as big as Sarah Frazier four years ago when we just started out and we're small potatoes? Mm. Well, you, we both have come a very long way and I <sighs> love working with you. And I love that our show brings people joy because the messages we get from people that are like, oh my God, I love your chemistry. And then the haters, whether we're talking about Ozempic or I don't know. I just got a one-star review. Someone said, leave your politics off air. And then really? I, I wish I could I, I wish I could reply. I don't Apple even. I don't even remember. I mean, we barely speak politics. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I want to be able to respond on the Apple um inner like the Apple one stars to go fuck yourself. I don't give a shit. Go listen to the other seventeen bazillion fucking podcasts that are out there. You think I give two rips what you think about what I think? No, fuck you. Everyone wants and needs to have my my friend Siggy on the show. Siggy, Siggy don't want to talk housewife, guys. Siggy don't want to talk housewife. She's doesn't? into that would be a she great... wants to talk oh politics. God. Siggy is like she is politics. She was just with Caitlyn Jenner. I saw like Siggy's really like she's like in the inner circle of like she's uh, really like, no. I mean like she's well, she, really she's close. She's but like she, he, but he like literally loves her. Like it's not. It's not. Some people thought it was in her head. And this is. I'm just putting it. It's like he like the man loves her. So anyway, wow. let's she not could even be go part there. of. Trump. Okay, she right, will we'll be. She will. No, honestly, honestly, I'm telling you, if he was ever president again, I really am not serious. I She'll think, be in the cabinet. I, yes, I'm serious. You guys, we would see Siggy like in some position of something i'm not kidding you like she's like look i, I just i i believe uh, like i like authentic people that whatever it is whether you agree or not it's their thing and and they are committed to it like i'm committed to this and no one could tell me what to do that's why i had my falling out with marge and i had laura on the podcast oh um, i want to hear that i want to hear this story so badly and then i have to tell I'm, I'm so depressed i was rejected by a childhood idol i went to craig's and i couldn't even believe it i got up to ask the celebrity for a, a picture and he said oh my friends are leaving what and then well then i want to first i want to talk about beverly hills but talk about about the filming and what we saw with garcelle and kyle what um you were at craig's and you read into a childhood idol Okay. I was at Craig's and, you know, Craig's in LA, like for people who don't live in LA, you, when you come here, you should go, especially at night, you've got to reserve it three weeks in advance, four weeks in advance. I think they only, you have to call, you have to get reservations. I went at Friday night, six o'clock. Everybody should go. At, did you have a reservation? Because you and I didn't the night we went. We sat at the bar. We sat at the bar and we sat next to the guy in hacks. And I'm like, I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. I don't David know who was the fuck that like, is. Who is this guy? I'm like, he's a famous actor. And he was very sweet. Took a drunken photo with me, even though I didn't know who he was. Okay. We go to Craig's on Friday night. Stacked table. I'm talking Noah Wiley from ER. Oh. I am talking um, um, Paul Reiser, the very, very famous sitcom actor. That's a good ER. one. Paul Reiser. LeVar Burton, all at the same table. Another one of the doctors that was famously on ER forever. I cannot remember, kind of short, baldish guy. Oh my God. He, all these actors in on one table, right? So everybody is like kind of looking at them. Trying are to, they you though? Know, are they? Because like Paris Hilton goes to creds, like Kathy, like Julia Roberts. Like, right, did well, they, maybe it was me. Did they was care? Starstruck. My husband. Okay. I'm well, just asking. I, I, no, I think that's the thing. I think I, you know, I need to start being cooler in LA because I am such a fangirl. So anyway, I don't like Girl, to bother people. Water. We need to be cool when we go to our event in three days. I'm going to be cool. Believe me, I'm going to pretend like I don't give a fuck about these people. Okay. I've realized that's the only way. That's, that's the LA way, many, girl. I give too many fucks. Anyway, I never want to interrupt people while they're eating. I made that mistake with Stevie Wonder. His bodyguard stood up and said, Mr. Wonder does not want to speak to you while he's eating. Anyway, I had to go sit back down in front of a whole restaurant. It was a whole thing. So I did thought, you okay, get I'll near catch him, him or did the bodyguard sense you were approaching and stand up before you even had an attempt to? Oh, he, the bodyguard bet me. Yeah, yeah. The bodyguard, like I didn't get close. No, no. I mean, it was, it was like a small intimate restaurant and I'd had many glasses of sake. Was this in but LA? Like, no, this is in Washington, D.C. Oh. back in the day. And 
I don't give a fuck because to me, if you're famous, you want to be famous. You want to be recognized. Not and if you when go you're to eating spot, though. Like I would be rude if I, I would actually, and I'm not rude. I would be rude if someone came over while I was eating. While I was like I agree with eating, that. I would be like, are you fucking kidding me? But other than that, I would take a picture. I agree again. with that. I'm just, okay, so I, LeVar I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go on. No, LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow, who I grew up with, who babysat me, by the way, when I, you know, my mom, my parents would like turn on the TV. They were probably hung over. I would watch Reading Rainbow nonstop. I mean, the man practically taught me how to write. I get up, I go, LeVar, I'm such a fan. And you know, he's, this is after the eight, he's walking out. I go, I would love a photo with you. And he goes, oh, my friends, they're, uh, they're leaving. I go, okay, okay, go, go join them. And I thought, you, I'm never speaking highly of you again. That's it. No photo, fuck off. <laughs> and did anyone, because like, if you do that at like Polo, oh, like, oh, were, that's it. did they care? Like the, the people at Christ didn't care, did they? No, like, but there's uh, a waitress that waited on us. Shout out to Kylie, who was amazing. At, no, she was star truck, starstruck too. And I go, you work here and you're starstruck. She's like, yeah. She's like this, she's like these, this group of, of super successful sitcom actors, they come here every Friday night. They hold court. I am always like, she's like, I'm always starstruck. I'm like, oh, well, I'm thinking if she's like that, then I'm going to. No, they never cared. The restaurant didn't care at all. I do believe too, Kyle, supposedly Kyle Richards and Faye Resnick were also there. However, I did not see them in Excuse the dining room me? on the way out. Excuse me. That is what you should have fucking led with. <laughs> Our run-in with Faye Resnick. I know. I'm sorry. I would have asked Faye. Is I that what you would have asked her for? Oh, are you kidding Thank me? Thank you. Faye, Thank no, you. but I, first of all, you can't do it like at Polo. There's a lot of restaurants like you will, you cannot do it. You cannot ask for a picture. You will be, it will not go over well. Craig's, I think, is the Wild West. They don't give a fuck and they have a thousand popper. But I would have done it. I mean, I don't know how I would, but I mean, Faye Resnick, excuse me. Kyle would have looked at me. Like, no, Faye. Faye. I mean, that's, that's well, it. What is it about, what is it about Faye that you love so much? I like, you know, our brand here behind the velvet rope is we, we, we like a little bit of like a, I don't want to insult anyone, but we like a little bit of like a, 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 a train wreck like a mystery, like I love, like I had Mackenzie Phillips on, you know, who slept with her father, you know, was molested by her father. We have to word that a certain way, you know, and like she's she's been in recovery. So that doesn't really make her a train wreck, but I love like a drug recovery story. I love like someone who was at the height of their fame and then lost it all. I love a little bit of a misunderstood train wreck. And then you get to the bottom of who they really are. So yeah, I know Faye is so on brand for this podcast. I love, by the way, we've also tried, like, I mean, I'll just let it all hang out. My booking team, we've, we've tried Faye Resnick many times. I'm like, she can plug her, um, her her design business, Faye does not want to talk, guys. So we have tried Faye Resnick here behind the velvet rope, just FYI. Um, what, did she ever appear, by the way? I, I mean, obviously we know she's on RHOBH regularly, you know, and of course the OJ Simpson trial, but 